why water is important is all living things must have water to survive. Whether it be animals or humans, we all need water. I have two names. My given English name is Harold Joe. My real name is Culpitston. That's my that's how the community knows me. To be a knowledge holder is gained through years of stories, teachings, new life, that's teachings, sitting with old people that I've had the privilege of being around growing up as a young man. Water is essential to my work as a knowledge holder, grave digger, ancestral repatriation worker, cultural worker, whatever name them given. Water is the most essence of cleansing, healing, protection, um, asking it and gaining strength from that. It is a life, it is, it is a being. Yeah, Hasquile men heute ans Zuesia, Zuesia Spakwas. My ancestral name is Zuesia, and I also carry Spakwas, which means bald eagle. I carry my grandmother's name, um, my father's mom, and I also carry uh, her English name. Um, I was born and raised here in a village called Stotmus, and Stotmus means shelter. And what shelters us is the second biggest monolith granite rock in the world, and we all know that as the chief. Water to me is very sacred, and water I have a lot of respect for. It. And yes, I do use it for cultural purposes. You know, um, we can go down to the river and we call it a shokum, and we find a nice pool, and we go in and we dip in and. You know, we pray and thank the Creator for this beautiful day. We need to look after the water because if we don't look after her, she's not going to look after us. A lot of my work is I've traveled Gulf Islands and a lot of history to all the Gulf Islands. Um, people would ask me how, how did the ancestral people in a summer's hot months of drought, how did they maintain it? How did they survive? Over in the Gulf Islands, I got to hear from elders about what to look for, what to watch for, lakes, creeks, upstream runs of, of lakes that flow fresh water. And if you go and spend a lot of time in those areas, you're going to see through the creeks these little basin drops. When you see those, a lot of people would say, oh, that it went off in winter. Well, yeah and no. Yes, it was in the winter. No, it has worked throughout the years, maintaining that stream, that creek, to turn it into something that was productive that they could harvest every year. Rainwater as well was, was also harvested. So when you when you see areas like in creeks and mountains, ponds, runoffs. Look at them, go, go check them out. And when you see them, they're, they were used for different things. That, that was part of our grocery store. You know, there was our salmon, you know, our trout. And my dad would just walk down the hill from right where we live. We just walk right down there and he can just grab a fish. You know, and then, you know, like I say, that was our grocery store. They're, they were used for different things. Harvesting, bathing, ceremony coming of age, death. And that's what the old people would say to me, go to those areas, go look at them, study them, watch them. And that's how our old ancestral peoples survived. The water will tell you things as well, if you listen. If you're not gonna listen, by the time you wake up, when water wakes you up, it's over, you got nothing can't say, oh, well, we're not there yet. We are here. We're already here. We are losing the water already. Climate change is huge. There's things happening. Look at, our, look at BC. Look at all the fires. Those are signs and messages from the Creator. 
we're not, if we're not going to pay attention to them, then what are we doing? We have to become stewards of the water. We have to become stewards of the river. We have to. They take, they got to learn to give back, right? So there's got to be that balance. Very powerful. You know, when we are sleeping, the river is still working. When we are sleeping, the creek is still flowing, you know, right from the mountains going all the way, all the way right down to the ocean. You know, that's the blood, you know, the blood is going. It's always circulating. The water cycle, it goes around and around like this. The life cycle goes around and around like this. It is a life. It is, it is a being. It takes and it gives. And we have a way that we have a choice. There's a way to work with the earth and there's a way not to. We choose the way out. You really need to learn to respect the water and for everything that it gives you. We have to each participate. I'm doing my job, you're doing your job, you're the environmentalist, you're the biologist, you're the engineer. We've got arc monitors here, knowledge keepers here. And we all have to become part of it. In any race you walk, where you come from, it doesn't matter. Water is the key essential to the very basis of life. You know, we all live on this beautiful planet we call Mother Earth. And that Mother Earth provides us so many teachings. It provides us so much medicine. It provides us so much things so we could, so we could live. It's that remembering that forgetting brings back when it comes to water and the purity of that water. The very basis and essence of that spirit is what keeps you alive and moving. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>